Hello everyone, this is the word of the day. I hope that you are blessed the way that I was. Problem solving. One of the more distressing facts of life is that every marriage must face problems. These cannot be sidestepped, but must be faced and resolved. Children can be a great source of enjoyment, but they can also add stress to a marriage. The mothering instinct is so strong in many women that they tend to neglect their husbands as they care for their children. See 1 Samuel 1 through 8. At times, a wife will even deceive her husband in favor of her child. Genesis 27 verse 1 through 29. A wife must remember that her union with her husband is second only to her relationship with God. Financial problems can also put undue stress on a relationship, especially if the couple bickers over who is going to make what sacrifices. If a couple will seek God's direction in financial matters, he will be faithful to meet their needs. Matthew 6, verse 33, Philippians 4, 19. Unresolved anger can build into resentment and bitterness so that meaningful communication ceases. What I enjoy about this Bible is that it touches on um, real life topics that not only women go through, but also wives. So I was literally having a moment in my marriage where I just was frustrated and I kind of took time to myself and we prayed a little and I really just asked God to speak to me and typically I like to do that. Um, I really try and do it every day. I know that in my heart I should do it every day, but you know, sometimes you, um, you know, realistically sometimes life gets in the way and I, I don't spend as much time as I should. But anyway, um, I went to open my Bible and right in the middle of Second Samuel 7 verse 3 there was a devotional and the devotional said marriage problem solving and it had these are just like maybe 50 percent of the passage but what i take from this is actually um a reminder of what a wife should be and not only just a wife but a, a married couple in general you know and um the verses are in like parentheses so you can go back and read into it but it's just kind of a reminder for me to always seek solace in God you know always turn back to God you know when you're frustrated when you're feeling in your worldly feelings it's always best to turn back to the Word of God and he will come through he will show up and he will give you a word of assurance a word of confirmation and to me this was a confirmation of everything that I needed to be reminded of everything that I needed to hear I have verses here that I can reference to which are all of it verses there and yeah thank you guys for listening let me know if this was helpful to you or was a blessing to you at all if so Leave me a comment um, whether or not you liked it or not, if it resonated in your spirit. And also be be sure to um, feel free to share what your read was today, what your devotional was, and what it is that you do in your morning routine. Bye.